Hi, Sandy here from Ask the Pool Guy. I wear many hats. One of them is the coordinator of everything. I thought I'd field a question today about what is the best type of chlorine to use in my swimming pool. Well, if you have a salt swimming pool or salt water pool, you're actually generating chlorine. So chlorine is the best, um, most readily available sanitizing method for swimming pools. If you don't have a salt generator on your pool, then what you should have is some type of automatic chlorine dispenser. So the CL220 made by Hayward is the tank that you put um, chlorine tablets in and it's plumbed into your system so it dissolves them out and disperses them into your water when your system's running. Another way that you can add chlorine to your pool is to have a floater and the floater is one of those plastic containers that you fill up with chlorine tablets, toss it in the pool and it disperses the chlorine as it floats around the pool. So some benefits to each method. The chlorine generator and the salt water system is going to give you the softest water. It's going to be a more saline solution, so it's really comfortable for bathers to swim in. The other benefit of that is you don't have to be adding additional chlorine to your pool. Simply by adding the salt and allowing the generator to do its work, it'll be sanitizing the pool water for you. Most chlorine um, generating systems have different settings, so you can set the chlorine generator to work at a certain percentage. We tend to use the Pentair IntelliChlor system, and depending on what's needed for each individual pool, the settings will vary a little bit. What I like to tell people is there's different size cells for different size pools. So an IC20 will chlorinate 20,000 gallons of water running 24 hours a day. The IC40 will chlorinate 40,000 gallons of water running 24 hours a day. So the chlorine generators are only making chlorine when the swimming pool is running. If you have a swimming pool that's kind of in the middle of those sizes, always go a size up. So if you're under 20,000 gallons, the IC20 would work. If you're over 20,000, under 40, that would work. In a case where you have a much larger pool than that, you might actually need to install two chlorine generating units to take care of the chlorine demand that you'll have for your pool. If you have the automatic chlorinator, the CL220, You'll want to monitor that and test your water regularly to make sure that you maintain a residual of one to three parts per million of chlorine in your water so that it can do its efficient sanitizing. We also recommend that you shock the pool once a week. So shocking the pool would consist of adding either uh, pouches of shock, but be careful that you get the right kind for your pool because if you just throw granular shock into a vinyl liner swimming pool, and it's Cal Hypo, for example, it's slower dissolving. If that lands on the bottom of the pool, you could have some potential um, bleaching or staining occur from the addition of that chlorine. So if you're going to shock a vinyl liner pool, you'll want a non-chlorine based shock and oxidizer, or you'll want to dissolve your chlorine in a bucket before you add it to the pool. Um, hands down, the quickest and easiest way to shock a pool is by using liquid chlorine. Here's a fun fact that I hadn't known until recently about liquid chlorine. It's not available in some locations. Some states actually have transportation laws that make it difficult to transport liquid chlorine. So if you're in a state where liquid chlorine is readily available, quickest and easiest way to shock your pool, however not the best for long-term sanitizing. Liquid chlorine works really quickly at cleaning up your pool. So if my pool ever starts to look a little bit cloudy or the water gets a little bit dull, what I'll typically do is backwash my pool because I have a sand filter, backwash the pool water, and then add liquid chlorine. In my pool, typically one or two gallons does the trick. Overnight, it'll clear things up. Liquid chlorine is fast acting. It's also fast to be used up when it is sanitizing your pool water, it's getting used, or if sunlight hits it, it's very unstable and it won't stay and remain in the water. So if it's a hot day, a hot summer day, and the sun is beating down on it, you're actually using up quite a bit of that chlorine. So if you're going to use chlorine, it's a fast acting method to get a very quick fix, but then you also need to address your long-term sanitizing issues. If you do use a floater, in your pool. You'll want to make sure that you monitor the output on those. Typically you can spin the bottom and open it or close it just a little bit. You'll want to make sure that you have a nice amount of chlorine always in the floater 
And if you notice that your water is getting too much, like if it's dissolving too quickly, then you'll want to tighten um, or spin that so that it's letting a little bit less of the chlorine through. Of course, with a floater, you have it in the water, and sometimes kids like to play with those and things like that. So you'll want to make sure that you address what is best in your situation. Thank you.